Hello everyone, I'm Ryan from Two Car Pros, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to replace the front shock absorbers for a Ford F-150 from 2002. Uh, this is a fairly simple repair that I think anybody could do uh, in a garage type situation. It doesn't take that much time, but it's going to save you a ton of money if you do this repair on your own instead of taking it to a shop. The link is down below in the description for the Ford Motorcraft shock absorber. We did not use those in the film. That was not my choosing. That was the owner of the truck's choosing. But if I, it were up to me, I would put Ford Motorcraft parts on my Ford truck. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is grab our WD-40 and lube up. And the next thing we're going to do is WD-40 the heck out of this lower nut here and let those stew for a minute. All right, we're gonna grab an 18 millimeter socket here, deep well, and remove that nut. So you're gonna need a 18 millimeter wrench to hold uh, this nut down here while you loosen the top nut with a deep well. Okay. Now we can remove this nut off the top of here and your new shock absorber should come with a new one so you can probably just throw this away. Okay, so now we can take out this 18 millimeter nut. Okay, so on the shock absorber bolt side, it is a 13 millimeter, but on the nut side, it is an 18 millimeter, but you need to hold the shock absorber side with a wrench. So it'll come out like that. And now we can remove the lower bolt. It should just come right out. If it doesn't, um, try a punch through there and try wiggling it about, maybe get a big pry bar or something. Um, but it should just come right out nice and easy. Okay, so basically we're gonna push down on the shock here. And then you can let it re-expand like this and then pull it straight out just like that. Okay, so here is one of our old struts, our shock absorber here. And we're going to compare it to our new ones by Max Absorber. Link down below in the description in case you are curious. We'll just spill that on out. And basically what we're looking for is to make sure that they are the same length, which they are. So we're going to install it like this. All right, we're going to replace the shock we saw earlier and uh, put this washer here, bushing, and then we're going to install it up into where it needs to go. So we're going to go down here first like this. They're not even that strong, so you could probably just manipulate it with your hand like I just did. Okay, we're going to put the bolts in for the lower part of the shock through the clevis. Might have to readjust it a little bit to get it to fit. Just like that, and we can reattach this bolt. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is tighten that nut up. On the bottom here, it goes through the clevis. All right, so now I've gotten the car lower to the ground. I have a jack underneath uh, the brake rotor, and I'm just gonna jack it up here to expose more of that thread. So this is actuating the suspension for me so I can get the next set of bushing and uh, washer on there. And we can install that. Okay, so we can tighten that up with our 15 millimeter here. And we want that on nice and tight, obviously. And once you get to this stage, the shock might start turning on you. Um, so you need to hold it. And there we go. Then we can release the jack and it's not gonna go anywhere. So that is how to replace your front shock absorbers for your Ford F-150 from 2002. Uh, any engine type doesn't really matter. They're all the same. Uh, the engine doesn't really change the, the front shock absorbers. Anyway, it's fairly simple and straightforward. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is something that really anybody could do with the jack, jack stands, and a little bit of patience. It's not bad at all, there was no massive hurdles. You didn't really even need a big pry bar or anything like that. Just a basic set of tools will do you, and it's fairly easy. 
Thank you so much for watching. All applicable links are down below in the description. You have been wonderful, and I will see you next time.